Good morning vlog and happy my weekend. It is Friday, sorry about that noise. Our neighbors upstairs are doing laundry and it like shakes the whole oven. Um, but it is Friday and it is December 10th and it is one month until my birthday, so that's very exciting. My hair is not doing the best. Um, but I'm just gonna make breakfast for Xavier and I. The overnight oats I made with some fresh fruit on top and then we have these tiny spoons. If anyone else gets the Ikea sets of um, cutlery, they come with the tiny spoons and we love them. So I'm gonna do that and then um, I have yoga at 11.30 but honestly I'm probably just gonna chill till then. Um, might clean a little bit and maybe do some laundry uh, and definitely unpack because I haven't unpacked since last weekend so those are all on the to-do list for today. Alright so this is Xavier is just gonna add a little bit of honey and then this is mine. I put um, maple syrup in it last time but I just felt like honey would be a little bit nicer because it won't get mixed in since I just put it on top. Um, so that is breakfast. Okay, so because Xavier has meetings all day today um, and I can't be like loud in the house, I think I'm going to spend the morning just cleaning up a little bit. So wiping down the kitchen and the bathroom and then um, going ahead and um, vacuuming because I can't do that later today. And then I'll start laundry and then I'm going to wrap a few Christmas presents and finally finish up our Christmas cards. So. That is my plan, and yeah, I feel like I've been neglecting cleaning because we were gone last weekend, so I didn't get a ton done. And then um, next weekend we're leaving on Friday, so don't want to miss out on like three weeks of cleaning the apartment because I do notice that if you do it every week, it obviously is way shorter um, than if you leave it for like long amounts of time. So want to get one good clean in before we, what is this? before we leave, so that's what I'm gonna focus on this morning. Now I'm gonna wrap some Christmas presents with this cute wrapping paper I got um, at the Boston Fine Arts Museum. It just has little nutcrackers all over it. Super cute. vlog um i just got sweet green for xavier and i um i just bumped the steering wheel um but he already ate lunch so i just got him some sweet potato because it's his favorite and then i got myself the green goddess salad with tomatoes and that's what we're gonna have for lunch so he's gonna be in a meeting when i go home so um, i'm gonna try not to be like loud and that's kind of why i got to go food um just so i'm not in the kitchen which is also his work area so um just gonna eat this and then I might venture to Home Depot and get that ice cream I really need. I really should do that. And there's also a couple of things I can pick up at Target, so probably we'll do that in a bit. But for now, I'm gonna go home and eat this because I'm starving. Just made a coffee after my salad. Almost dropped my phone. But this is with the caramel, it's like so satisfying um and yeah now I kind of like want to show all the art in the house and talk about that but maybe I'll do that right now okay so this room is very dark but the light puts glare on it so this is a map of the coast of Oregon we got engaged right there in Tierra del Mar with 
Xavier's sister Miranda and her boyfriend Henry on July 26, 2020. And this is a present from our engagement party at Rockport. This is a picture of said engagement. This is like right when Xavier did it. Um, and it was right on the coast overlooking the ocean with mountains in the background and it was beautiful. I was wearing like a little pink dress and Xavier was in his classic vineyard vines. So we have that in the bedroom. And then this was um, my gift to Xavier, I think, for something, but then he got the frame and framed it um, as like a housewarming little present to me. So when I first walked in the house, this was already on the wall. And this was the coordinates of the bar that Xavier first kissed me at, and it says where it all began, and that was on July 25th of 2019. And that's a plant. And then we just have um, some dried eucalyptus in this vase I got like from college like a long time ago and then we have a bunch of cards here and then we have a little dish with some shells hopefully we'll collect more of those a candle three other candles yeah we need to like burn these because we need to use them up but this is from the Rockport Candle Company it smells like a Christmas tree this is also from the Rockport Candle Company it's like the Christmas benefit candle so I think it went to um a fundraiser for the town and then this is a new home candle we've never burned that my mom got us and then this is a bean <laughs> that they were decided he needed from crate and barrel one time when we had a gift card so it's like a completely useless sculpture and then we have another vase that i got in college and this is just like baby's breath but we just kind of dried it so there's no water in that i just put them in there and then they just kind of stay like that this is a um banner that was at my bridal shower and it's kind of out of date now but um it said fall in love which was the theme and then we have some pompous grass here and a little vase from crate and barrel and then pumpkins for the fall as well so those can probably go soon um but yeah and our last piece of decor is this sad sad fiddle leaf um it is like only hanging on to three leaves and they always just fall off um, and I water it every week hoping that it will grow new leaves, but it's literally like brown in the center. So it's highly unlikely. So this is probably going to be on the way out, but we try, we try. And then just while I'm showing you random things, this is our fresh balsam candle that we have in the bathroom. Um, I usually put it like this and honestly you don't even need to burn it for it to like stink up the whole bathroom because it's so strong. And then this is a Bud Light candle I got for Xavier's birthday last year. My friend Nicole, I'll link her Etsy shop because she makes like whatever beer, cans or bottles or like wine um, you want and she'll put a candle in it. So this one's super fragrant and floral. So that's why we have it in the bathroom. Okay, I need to shower and I also need to go drop off my Christmas notes that I wrote into the mailbox so I think I'm gonna go walk and do that so that after my shower I can just stay in the house and not get cold again um so I'm gonna bundle up and then it's just like block away <laughs> I'm like being dramatic but I'm um, gonna go mail those Christmas cards so that I can get to everyone hopefully in time for Christmas my favorite thing on Fridays is lighting all of our candles because I know I'll be home all day So I just went to drop my letters off at the post office and in the meantime, my For Love and Lovin's package came and it has in it a dress that I might wear as my reception dress. So I'm gonna try it on. I guess I might not be able to vlog it. Maybe I just won't tell Xavier to watch this. It depends how it goes. Like if I like the dress, I might not be able to show, but if I don't like it, I might be able to. So I'll think about it, but I'm gonna try it on right now. Hello, I just showered and now I'm just kind of gonna watch TikTok until it's time to make dinner. Tonight I'm making salmon with sweet potato for Xavier and I'm making the Emily Mariko salmon with like rice and avocado and cucumber and then I'm also gonna do side of green veggies for both of us so I will show you when I make that but right now I've just kind of been chilling and I got the dress. <laughs> That was the last clip. Um, I do love it and I will be wearing it so I can't put it in the vlog. I also just, in case random people I know watch the vlog, like I want it to be ultimately like pretty much a surprise. So not gonna put it in the vlog, but it was so cute and I love it. And if you go on the little, I'm um, the, for Lemon, 
for love and lemon sight i mean it's like the white dress on there so probably pretty obvious but just in case i just don't want to show it since i will be wearing it like on the wedding so yes very exciting stuff i'm really checking a lot off my wedding list my wedding list of wardrobe and also to do things so this weekend i really want to finish confirming everyone's addresses for the invites that we're sending out in january and then i also want to um finalize all of our um, invitation details basically um so i need to reach out to the company just to confirm all of that so i want to do that soon but yeah very excited about the dress sorry i can't show you and i will show you when i'm making dinner okay the first part of dinner is So we're going to be sprinkling just a little bit of brown sugar, just so they become extra sweet and really caramelized and roasted. And then just salt, pepper, and that'll be it. Okay, and then this plate is also going into the oven. So this is just Brussels sprouts and green beans with salt, pepper, paprika, and then a little bit of red chili flakes on the green beans. Alright, and then last piece is going in the oven. This is Xavier salmon with soy sauce and my salmon, which is just plain. So I'm going to make the Emily Mariko salmon. Um, so I don't want a ton of stuff on mine, but um, it just has a little bit of lemon salt, pepper, um, paprika, and garlic. And then mine just has everything but the garlic. And yeah, it's going in the oven now. Okay, um, dinner is ready. I made the Emily Mariko salmon and rice. And then the cucumbers on the side, a little salad, and then green beans and brussels, and then Zebra has salmon, his sweet potatoes, and then green beans and brussels. And we're gonna finish watching him play FIFA, and then we're gonna play, and then we're gonna watch um, Promising Young Woman. <laughs> Yay! Bye! So I got these um, frozen desserts from Whole Foods. This one's a coconut. It's like coconut sorbet inside of a coconut shell. And then Xavier has a lemon. <laughs> and <laughs> then- I like coconut. Yeah, cause he doesn't like coconut. And now it's advent calendar time. It's the 10th? The 10th. It's a caramel. Okay, the oh, also I'm wearing my um, sweat set from Girlfriend Collective, and it's super cozy. I'm Xavier's, getting a haircut tomorrow. Thank God. And Xavier's still in his work clothes, but he's very over his long hair, even though it's so cute. But the Christmas question of today is, I didn't. Um, do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite ornament? I have a red star that I got when I was in kindergarten. And I was picking that up. I have a flat Stanley that I made that has googly eyes, so that's pretty light. Alright, we'll see you tomorrow for a very fun day. Although maybe not tomorrow. I thought it was cute. Um maybe not tomorrow because I think I'm gonna post my vlog either on Sunday night or Monday night of the whole weekend. Kinda like I did last time. Um so won't see you tomorrow, but I'll be vlogging tomorrow, and tomorrow we're gonna go to Brookline, and that will be super fun. We're gonna get some Christmas presents, maybe, and um, just look around, and they also have an awesome um, Japanese grocery market that I want to go to, and we're out of soy sauce, so all fun things for tomorrow, but for tonight, we're gonna finish Promising Young Woman, which is so good so far, and yeah, all right.